Jesus, is it that time already? No watch on. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna start stripping off the roof uh, so that we can replace it in the future. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step to removing the roof, then we're gonna start inside the cabin itself. So we need to take a few bits off the spotlights so that we can pull that through the roof and out. So the first thing to remove then is this handle piece here. Really simple, just a nut and a bolt. Obviously, unlike most of the nuts and bolts in this vehicle, it's pretty easy to release because we did it recently in the searchlight video. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. Okay, then the handle itself then. So you can just gently twist it off and it comes off. Okay, so the next thing then is we need to uh, remove the wiring. So very simply, there's one screw here on this junction box. Okay, and then we'll just undo the terminals themselves. Okay, first step done. The next step then is I'm gonna remove the four nuts um, on these bolts here, which is for the blues and twos. Okay, so this is a good start to the video. As you can see, all four of those um, nuts and bolts have actually just sheared off and that's uh, literally just so I was using a socket to turn them off all four of them have just snapped okay so the next step then is to pull back the ladder just need to be out of the way just so it's a bit easier okay so now that we're on the roof then the next step is I'm going to remove the bell um, by removing these, I remove the spotlight, which we've already covered in uh, another video. So check that out if you need more detail. And then finally, we'll remove the blues and twos just by using these two slotted screws on either side. Um, but obviously, they've sheared off underneath anyway, so they'll just probably pop right out. It would probably help if I had the actual wrench for the socket. Okay, so the bell is um, still pretty stuck on. So on this side, I've managed to remove the um, nuts, but on this side, uh, we haven't. The problem is they're spinning, but because the nut itself then, there's no head on it, it's just completely smooth. I can't grip um, the nut and, and twist off the bolt, um, which is rather annoying, really. Um, so, but again, as I said, you know, you can see here that the plywood in certain bits is completely rotten, so it's gonna be replaced. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to the next step and then I can strip this out from the wood later on. To all those who like to do things perfectly, this is not gonna please you, so look away. But these uh, screw heads, well, screws in general are just so rusted, um, they're just disintegrating, so and as I'm replacing the plywood underneath anyway, it really doesn't matter how much I destroy it. That's a, a very interesting silicon job. Okay, so I've got to remove the wiring from inside, but that's the uh, blues and twos off. If I bring you around to the, the front, so as you can see, all the way around the Green Goddess, there's this trim piece that's held on by these screws. So there's quite a few of these screws all the way around the vehicle. So that's what's gonna be removed next. Okay, so the roof trim is now finally off. Um, I was gonna do a uh, quick time lapse of it, and the problem is it took me over four hours to remove the trim. Why you ask? Uh, because pretty much, I would say 80% of the screws and bear in mind there's one every about six centimeters, uh, was rusted in and would not come out, so had to be extracted. Um, and obviously it's a slotted screw, screw extractors aren't designed for that, so getting that biting point on a, you know, just one horizontal plane is a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, it took about four hours in total to strip the trim off, um, but it's done. So the next thing I need to do then is, 
I need to completely pull the ladder off the Green Goddess um, because the front stand is on the roof itself, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, and we need to unscrew that. So I'll pull the Green Goddess forward and then we'll get the ladder moved back. Right, okay, well, I don't, uh, I've never actually taken the ladder off completely, so this will be a bit of a, a lesson on both ends. So it's all released. What's that bit done then? Definitely not the right way of, definitely not the professional way of doing it, but. If I was a professional, these videos would be a lot quicker. Okay, so let's take a look at... Okay, so as you can see, it's an absolute mess up here at the minute, um, just where we've been working on things. So this is the mount that we now need to take off. So once this has been removed, we can then strip back all the canvas and actually look at the wood itself. As always, guys, it's that time in the video where I ask you two things. Do me a favor subscribe to the channel it's free it doesn't cost you anything it, it means you'll be notified when i release any videos if you click the bell icon beneath subscribe it will send you an email um, and a notification on youtube on the top right if you don't want that just subscribe it will still pop up in your feed the second thing then is if you could please like this video or if you didn't like the video dislike the video but give me a reaction either way like or a dislike um, because that helps get this video and this channel out to more people on YouTube, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so to remove the mount then, uh, it's two nuts and bolts, one there and one there, uh, and that just screws into a bit of wood which goes through to the roof itself. Um, now luckily, these look remarkably, well first of all they're unpainted, and remarkably uh, new, so hopefully they should come off without a problem. Now I've probably just jinxed myself, but let's give it a go. Oh, look at that, first time. Is it gonna fit with, no? going to strip it yeah okay. okay so if you're not a fan of adjustable wrenches look away now oh jesus look at that that's ridiculous can i do that with my fingers oh <laughs> see if everything came apart like that i would have had this video recorded about three days ago okay so we've now uh, managed to remove that mount so if you have a look there, uh, I slipped the screwdriver and it's just completely rotten. So those two posts will need replacing anyway. Um, but there it is just over there, along with a lot of mess. So the exciting thing we can do now is we can finally strip back all of this uh, canvas on top, get a look at the wood underneath, see what state it's in. It's going to be replaced anyway. This panel here, which ah, looks like a GoPro mount. Okay, definitely not original, but let's see what, so this, okay, so some sort of power coming to this, I'm just going to twist off maybe. It's nailed in all along the side, but I'm just going to just rip it up. So you can see already there's definite signs um, of water ingress. All this area here is just completely, uh, pretty much rotten. Um, so. take you for a tour of the wood. Made up of panels then, you can see one of the seams there, and then it's got these rounded pieces um, and with some actual joinery as well, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it would have just been um, square on. So that's a, a welcome surprise in terms of quality, but not welcome because it's more work for me slash my uh, carpenter friend who's gonna help out. So overall then looking at the wood, the majority of it, 
is not that bad. Um, there's quite a bit um, on this back panel here. You can see where it's split. Um, it's quite got a, quite a bit of leakage there. Um, in this centre bit, then there's the, where the seam is basically all the way along where the seam was. You can see this dark area where it's basically leaked in. Um, coming round to the front, then yeah, you've got a few small patches, but in general. It's actually not that bad. Um, so the only massive issue or massive bit that is damaged is this bit here because it's completely, just completely rotted away, this side piece. Um, but I think, to be honest, aside from this piece here, you could probably um, just put the roof over it and maybe replace this back panel here. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do then, and I apologise for the, the camera wobble, but it's because I'm walking on the roof. Um, last thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to measure uh, the panels. Now, the wooden panels are not straight, so if I use the tape measure to illustrate this, what I mean is they're not square. Um, so if I just roughly give you that, and we'll line it up with those, those two screws there. So you can see... It, um, it arches so I'm gonna measure for excess um, and then I'll know exactly what I need so on this roof there are a mixture of um, nails and screws they're all completely rusted to the point where they've just literally turned into dust um, so they're all gonna be need to be drilled out um, as I'm replacing the whole roof, it's not too bad because I can just I can just cut around it with a jigsaw or something like that, um, and and just cut them out. That's that's no worries. Um, I'm not going to strip the roof off now in this video because it's going to be a few weeks before I actually get around to fitting the new roof. So I've got the EDPM um, and all the adhesive and all that sort of stuff. What I need to order um, is the actual wood itself, and then what I need to get um, uh, made up by my uh, carpenter friend is the trim along the outside because that joinery is not uh, I'm not a I'm not a carpenter by any means um, so that's going to probably take him a week or two anyway so the next video after this one may not be part two as in installing the new roof it may be another project I've got going on um, because it just depends on you know when I get the the supplies and that sort of thing if I can tick another job off the list um, you know a nice quick and easy job something to do like something like painting the undercarriage or using VHT paint on the exhaust, um, getting the cushion replaced inside. You know, there's a whole raft of jobs that I can be getting on with. Okay guys, so until next time, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.